Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Samar from the Naqabi Diaries, and I'm reading this book, The Ideal Muslim. I'll link to the PDF version in the description box, inshallah. And today, alhamdulillah, we're on a new chapter, which is chapter 9 The Muslim Woman and Her Friends and Sisters in Islam. And subhanAllah, the first section is entitled She Loves Them as Sisters for the Sake of Allah. And subhanAllah, what better way or what better love there is to have? than loving somebody for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There isn't any love that is better than that or greater than that. SubhanAllah, when we are friends with somebody purely out of love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't, we're not trying to be friends with them because of their beauty or how they look or their status or what we think we can get from that person. But SubhanAllah, we have this sisterhood and bond between us this person will remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will also remind that person of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when you meet each other it's for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and really it's such a beautiful um, feeling to have when you even somebody who their personality could be very different to yours but you love that person because you know that they love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're trying their best to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and alhamdulillah it's such a beautiful and a wonderful experience and this is the way that even though when people may have very dis different personalities, if your focus, um, you know, and towards them and your interest towards them is because of the love and the fear that they have for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you love them for Allah's sake, then this will, you know, make the relationship between the both of you easier because that will be your main focus. You're not looking for your um, other common interests. Your main interest is Islam and practicing the religion as best as you can and when you know this other person even though everything else in their life may be completely contrasted to yours and completely different from yours so maybe you don't have anything in common other than that this is the only thing that is important and this is the only thing that is needed and this is the true epitome of sisterhood and alhamdulillah i remember when i became muslim this was one of the things that i really felt so blessed by and when I went to the masjid for the first time and I sat with the sisters I could tell it was something completely different from other environments that are female orientated alhamdulillah those sisters who gathered in the masjid purely to learn the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and everybody there from different cultural backgrounds different ethnicities and you know different different areas they came just for one purpose, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be blessed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is true sisterhood, alhamdulillah. And there's a beautiful hadith here that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There are three things that whoever attains them will find the sweetness of faith. If Allah and his messenger are dearer to him than anyone or anything else, if he loves a person solely for the sake of Allah, and if he would hate to return to kufr, disbelief, after Allah has rescued him from it, as much as he would hate to be thrown into the fire. Alhamdulillah. Allah Akbar. What a beautiful hadith. So we have three things mentioned here. And Alhamdulillah, we can see that these three things reflect in the, the relationship that you will have with somebody if you love them truly for the sake of Allah. And that is that that person will love Allah and his messenger more than anybody else. And they will also hate to return to kufr after being guided. And this is the person that definitely you will love them for the sake of Allah, inshallah ta'ala. Alhamdulillah for everything. Anything that I've said which is correct is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And anything that I've said which is incorrect is from myself. And Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.